Hi, it's Jeffrey. This is Right Color. And I am going to do a reading for you. I have incense burning, that's all the smoke. I did not set the apartment on fire. Yet. <laughs> this is for Capricorn for October 2020, including the full moon. October 1st through Halloween, which is October 31st. Halloween is so much fun, but I don't know what it's gonna be like this year. When I was a kid, Halloween was almost cold. Now, I mean, it's a little cool out today, but if you'd be warm on Halloween, not, you know, not 80, more. Anyway. This is your reading for the month of October for Capricorn. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, the moon, I, well, too much. The moon the moon is such a hard card to read. <laughs> such a hard card to read. Okay, first off, you have the King of Cups. The King of Cups, as many, or as, uh, if you watch my videos, he's my favorite king. He, um, he is kind of the epitome of emotional intelligence, right? He hears with his heart. Lovely. Lovely. Very calm, very kind, very nurturing, very um, diplomatic. Um, negotiator, right? but all in the realm of emotion, all in the realm of emotion. So, the, you know, the moon is a very funny little card and um, it's a really confusing little card. So, some, so a lot of times this is about secrets about dreams, about illusion, about delusion, um, seeing things by the light of the moon as opposed to the light of the sun. It's like, is that Bigfoot or is that just a tree? A little bit like that. Um, you know how when you're walking down the street at night, it's like, is that a person crouched up? It's like, it's a fire hydrant. It's a fire hydrant, like the coffee. I thought it was a goblin that came out of the sewer to eat me. It's a fire hydrant, get over yourself. So the other thing this card can sometimes be about, it could be about prophecy. It could be about sort of seeing things by this light of the moon. You know, when you, um, what they call scrying. Scrying is when you see an image in water um, that, you know, scrying, like you scry in a crystal ball, but you could also do it on, on a body of water. Being that the King of Cups came up and the moon, um, And you know, I do always see Capricorn as quite intuitive. I know a lot of people don't, but I know that they are. I always feel like as if something could come to you in a dream or in some sort of um, you know how. Uh, 
Yeah, so I'll give you an example. So somebody was telling me a story about this company and they, uh, they used to have like, um, Bendel's used to do it in Bergdorf's and this I think was for Vogue or something um, where small time designers would go and they would present their merchandise and sometimes like a big company would like pick it up and it could be like you're, you're in to the industry in a lot of ways, right? And um, so they went and then they had a certain item that they were like, oh, this is crap. Let's take it anyway. And they presented their thing that they were all gung-ho about, which like flopped. And then that thing that they brought by accident, you know, sort of like, oh, whatever, I got it, was like the hit, right? And put them on the map and really began a business with them. I always feel like, something like that there's almost like a it's almost like a gnat like something it could be attached to something else there's something some oddball thing that's going to come out and out and um and it's not the thing you think it is it's something that is maybe somehow a tangent of it or a result of or uh, accompanied by or lit by um, um, uh, featured because of it's like that it's sort of like that it's sort of like you know like sometimes in a movie you're watching the movie and you know the movie's okay you know it's not bad it's not good but there's one performance that's just drop dead. And it's like, oh, you walked with this movie. And it's like, and, you, and it's not even, um, you know, they're like the sixth or eighth name down. Or sometimes the star of the movie is the art direction, right? Or sometimes the star of the movie is the cinematography and not, not the actors, not the story, not the director. It's a cinematography or it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. So it's kind of like you have to keep your eyes peeled. But I think the thing that you really need to keep peeled, so to speak, is how you feel. Is how you feel. I think you're gonna to come to it. Um, it's kind of like the way I read, like some people when they read, they see, and some people when they read, they hear. I hear sometimes, but, and then some people feel, that's basically, I, I feel, like I feel. Like that's, that's my, my MO, that's how I go through, right? That's how I, so I'll start reading the card and then I start feeling and it's like, oh. Um, so it's not even so much what I see. And like some people, you know, like as they're reading cards, they're like, oh, you see the dog and the dog reminds me of this, da, da, da. I got it, you know. But it's just not how I, um, I go through things. It's not how I, um, it's not how I chew my food. That's the same. Um, so I feel like that's how it's going to come. It's going to come like, uh, you know, maybe you went to a party to meet so-and-so, but then, you know, uh, their friend's friend's friend was the one. Or, and I, I, what I, I don't mean like, oh, we're going to live together forever. Maybe there's a business opportunity. Maybe there's, you know, a conversation had. Maybe uh, they were looking for a roommate. You're looking for a roommate. Like that. Um, Or because you took, because you felt Avenue A was not safe and you decided to take Avenue B instead, uh, because the way you felt, by chance on Avenue B, you met someone from 20 years ago that, you know, you caught up, whatever. It's a little like that. So I would, this month, because I know that, you know, you're, 
you have to go with how you feel this month. Your feelings uh, and your courtesy and your diplomacy and your um, understanding. He's very understanding, right? Because he hears with his heart. So maybe you're going to hear something in conversation that wasn't said, right? And, you know, that can be your in. That can help you understand what's being presented or what's not being presented or what's uh, opportune or, or what's not. Could be a dream too. It could come through a dream. Sometimes when you're interpreting a dream, it's kind of like let's say you're having a dream about a boat on land, right? So part of the interesting thing about the boat on land is where's the water? You know, like that the clue might be where's the water as opposed to it being the clue a boat or the, the clue land. See what I'm saying? Um, anyway, being able to be open and to be um, influenced, the moon influences. Um, being able to be influenced by something sort of occult right, hidden, will actually put you right back on the path. I, I talk about this a lot. So there are only a few cards. Well, the path is actually here too. So you have the path twice. See the path here? That's like a crayfish, right? Because the, the cancer, this is cancer, ruled by the moon. This is lunacy, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the path. It's interesting, it goes from water to water. But it rolls on the, oh, it goes up into the mountains. It goes up into the mountains. It goes up into heaven. Anyway, here's the path again. And this could be a financial opportunity or money coming, or uh, some sort of security being offered to you. So it's a lovely card. All the aces are lovely. These hands floating around, it's, it's kind of nice. Um, in the clouds, just like this incense that I'm burning, it's like, I'm like in the fog. Um, so, the Mayan uh, would let blood from themselves, right? They would let so much blood and they would put the blood on paper and then burn the paper and they would read the smoke. That's what they used to do. That's, what, that's another version of scrying. Um, it's just a tool. They're all just tools. So... You know, part of it was probably because they lost so much blood, they were like, where am I? Right, what's going on? So, uh, 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 am I the king of the Maya? Let's go get that other Mayan kingdom, get their king, get his head. Or, you know, I don't know, let's trade some jade. I don't know. Um, It's not so much to go looking for it, but to allow yourself to feel your way into it. You don't have to go looking for it. Just be aware and allow it to present itself. You know, but yeah, this is, so I'm always giving examples. So 
I'm always losing stuff in my apartment. There's always a, something I'm losing. Uh, my glass, I have eight or 10 pair of glasses. They're all over the house. A pen, et cetera, et cetera. So if I'm looking for this, these pair of glasses, right, and I can't find them, I just start doing something else. I just start doing something else. I start doing the dishes or I go and I want to clean something or I move something around. I'm always moving stuff around. So when I do that, then the glasses reveal themselves. I don't even worry about it. I know they're somewhere. They're somewhere. And they'll, they'll show up when they need to show up. You know, and in, in the, in the, um, in between time where I'm like rearranging everything, it's like, oh, well, I found this, uh, this receipt that I really wanted to see, or yesterday I uh, was looking for um, a receipt and I couldn't find it. It wasn't a receipt, it was a tracking. I sent something uh, USPS and I wanted to see if it got there. And um, I looked high, I looked low, I looked middle. It just turned up later in the day. It just turned up. You know, and then I got my information. But in the interim, I got to see other things in the apartment that maybe gave me clues or gave me things to do. Got me? It's kind of like that. Um, it's, so, it's like the gift is revealed when you're being the King of Cups. So the King of Cups is the one who hears with their heart. So the gift is revealed when you're being empathetic, when you're being compassionate, when you're listening, when you are um, steady in the turbulent water, when the gift is revealed when, you know, things emotionally are kind of um, unsteady and you remain calm. That's where the revelation comes. That's where the gift comes. That's where the gift comes. That's why you always need to this stay to the end of the reading. <laughs> So that's when it comes through. Anyway, um, happy and fruitful and healthy October to you, Capricorn. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, uh, ring the bell for notifications. If you want on one on one, Jeffrey Wright color information below. Have a lovely, lovely October. Blessings.